Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to tell you how to control an Android device with another Android device. So we will be using a uh, Android device with it. It has Android version 4.4 KitKat. It has Lollipop. So it is Coolpad Note 3 Lite, and it is some 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 device called Mito. Uh, so this little trick will work on all the devices. So you need uh, two apps for this. You need VNC Viewer and you need Droid VNC Server. The link of both the apps will be in the description. You can download both the apps from the links. After that, you need root access, and you also need uh, both the devices on the same Wi-Fi network. You can see uh, both the devices are connected to same Wi-Fi network. You can see link network and link network here also. So both the devices are connected to same uh, network. The device which you want to hack or you want to see what is going on in, on that device or you want to use that device, you have to install Droid VNC server on that uh, device. So I will be hacking this device or I will be using this device by this device. So I will be showing you what app you want in this device. Uh, it is Droid VNC server. So let me just find it. So guys here it is Droid VNC server. So you have to download this app, install this and uh, it will look like this. You can see a green circle Droid VNC server. So okay and then uh, the phone by which you want to hack that or by you, which you want to use that you have to install vnc viewer in that device i will show you uh, it is this vnc viewer you can see uh, just wait a minute uh, it is vnc vnc viewer so okay let's start first of all you have to open droid vnc server on this device after that it will show you welcome to droid vnc server click on ok after that it will uh, just say you uh, stop or running it is running so first we will stop it ok so it is stopped right now so let's start it click on start after that it will ask you for root access i have already given it root access so it has started on its own so you will have to give the root access first after starting this you have to go to your other mobile phone and you have to go open vnc viewer there you have to click on this green plus sign and you have to make a new connection you can see uh, on this device uh, here uh, click on start wait a second uh, you can see it it is giving us a ip called connect to 192.168.0.101.5901 uh, so we have to enter that ip here 192.168 mm, wait a second dot zero dot one dot zero dot one zero one dot five nine zero one so you can see i have i think i have done it correctly there is a colon here so just remove this dot okay so one zero one okay so now now i think it is correct one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot one zero one dot five nine zero one name anything you can put i will put my channel name now click on create now uh, you can see that uh, it is a picture quality it will show you picture quality high automatic low uh, view only turn on the observe but not control this computer if you turn on this you will only see what he is doing on the device but you will not be able to control that device so i will be also controlling the device so i will not turn it on after that forget sensitive data so um, uh, if you it has for any for sensitive data you can also forget it i will not click on it so now click on connect after that it will give you uh, it will just connect it now uh, unencrypted connection i have not set up any password so it will show an encrypted connection still i will click ok after you can see it is connecting now you can see control the computer so now it is saying that this is the first time it is saying that this is the first time so it will like to show some gestures i will click next i will show the gestures i will tell you how to control the device so now you will see that uh, there are some gestures given uh, in this uh, you can see that this first is pinch uh, pinch with two fingers to zoom if we just pinch with two fingers like this it will zoom then touch with one finger and drag the position to the mouse cursor if we touch with one finger and drag a uh, touch with one and drag to position and we will just drag the position to the mouse cursor then we can move the mouse cursor tap with one finger to left click if we tap with one finger it will uh, take a left click if we double tap the one with one finger it will take a double click uh, like a pc so tap with two, two fingers to right click tap with three fingers to middle click tap with two finger draw and then we have just uh, that keyboard tap uh, there will be a keyboard sign there to open the virtual keyboard so then there will be also a mouse sign to for a mouse so guys let's start i will just open this device for you 
now you can see on the screen now i cancel it now you can see that the screen of the device has come here now you can see now you can see when i am taking it down oh now you can see uh, if i use this device then you can see it is coming there it is coming on this device if i use this device you can see see that do you see that you see okay now if i want to use it with this also i can use it if i click on the mouse sign i have got the mouse swipe left for more keys and you can see f9 there are many keys right here then we have the keyboard here if we uh, just type anything on the keyboard also we can do that we click on the mouse then we will get a mouse you can see the mouse is here after that uh, we will open any app you can see so if we want to open es file explorer you can see i have done it so you can see if i'm using anything on this this is showing on this device so guys thank you for watching the video i hope you like the video click the like and subscribe button for more videos like this if you have any suggestion you can just comment below if you want any type of video you want if any other video you want you can also comment below i will make one for you so thank you for watching click the like button